Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Adler and Alec Echo, the duo, uh, back tonight. Tonight's game we have the East Hampton Eagles versus the Frontier Red Hawks. And Alec, it's going to be a great game tonight as Frontier, they are 6-4-2. They're coached by Mr. Patelli. And uh, East Hampton, they're coached by Brian Miller and Joe Roy. So... Welcome to Frontier Regional for tonight's game between the Eagles of East Hampton and the Red Hawks of Frontier. The Red Hawks tonight would like to bring your attention and dedicate the game to One Love. One Love is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to ending abuse. Join us tonight as our players have pledged to love better. Now for the starting lineup for the East Hampton Eagles. Number zero, Addie Barr. Number one, Mona Young. Number four, Des Redfern. Number eight, Ella Belcher. Number 11, Abby McLaughlin. Number 14, Maria Belfka. <laughs> Number 18, Brenna Myers. Number 20, Christine Raymond. Number 21, Anna Grahowski. Number 26, Reagan Delisle. And number 30, Veronica Raposa. And now the starting lineup for our Frontier Red Hawks. Number zero, Katie Wells Robinson. Number two, Maggie McDermott White. Number five, Sydney Tor. Number six, Madeline Fagan. Number seven, Hannah Mackin. Number eight, Jazzy Hayes. Number 13, Caroline Crocker. Number 14, Maddie Bennett. Number 15, Kylie LaFord. Number 18, Jazzy Fo Josie Fosno. And number 19, Anna Petrin. At this time, we ask that everyone please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, uh, the duo tonight. We have the Frontier Red Hawks versus the East Hampton Eagles. It's going to be a great game tonight as Frontier, they are 6-4-2. and two. They're coached by Mr. Batelli. Uh, the East Hampton Eagles are coached by Brian Miller and Joe Roy. So one thing that was mentioned is they do have a donation bin uh, before you enter the game. Is It's uh, some Frontier football players. Uh, it's uh, one love to end abuse. So that's pretty cool, Alec. Yeah, that nice no, Frontier. Yeah, and uh, so again, it's going to be a good game tonight. And we'll be right back with the kickoff. Kickoff. Thank you. And kicking off for the Eagles is going to be 14 Maria Belfaki. And she's a striker for the uh, Eagles. Kicks it off back uh, over to uh, Abby McLaughlin. 
Eagles doing a good job right now just moving that ball around. They get through Frontier's defense, and Katie Wells Robinson, the goalkeeper for Frontier, is going to collect. She kicks it way downfield. Good line drive uh, kick. A header by the Eagles. Kyle LaFord with it. A header by LaFord. And now Frontier with a chance to score, an opportunity. Anna Petrin kicks it into the box. The goalkeeper does, ooh, does a great job of coming out and saving that. Uh, and a good job by Frontier's player. I'm not sure who that was to jumping over the goalkeeper. Just a good heads up play. And that's a good chance for Frontier early in this game. Eagles trying to get over second half. Looks like it's going to be Abby McLaughlin going down the field for the Eagles. Takes a shot on goal. It was wide left, but a far shot on goal too. Yeah. That's a good distance out. So she, sh if they're shooting from there, you, the uh, Frontiers goalie got to be ready. ready. Uh, Wells Robinson's got to be ready. And um, we were we did see Alec the uh, the JV game. Uh, the Eagles, they won 3-2 to two over Frontier, but um, the Eagles scored two goals late in the, uh, the first half. So, could be a preview of this game as it's going to be a close one and two very good teams. Yeah, you always like to see what the JV does differently than the varsity and what varsity does differently than JV to yeah. see how, how they uh, coach them to get them up to this level. And it's always good to watch JV or middle school games. Uh, Eagles with an opportunity right now, and good job by their defense line stopping that attack, finally clearing it. Frontier and did a good job with getting both, both their defenders did a good job getting in the way of the uh, East Hampton player to stop it because it didn't look like the goalie was ready for it. Yeah, and... Frontier, they've always had good defense. I, from commenting the past couple of years, their defense has been one of their strong suits. For they're, the they're never afraid to kick it out when they're too close to the goal either. Exactly. And just like that, you know, just like we were talking about, Frontier doing a good job of getting it out of bounds and forcing them to be able to get, be uh, get better set up. A little miscommunication it looked like on East Hampton's hand there. Trying yeah. to figure out who was going to do the throw-in. The throw-in's going to be by uh, Christine Raymond. Um, Eagles doing a good job of the chance. And, oh, off someone's head. Uh, Eagles still on the attack. They're not giving up. And now, oh. I think it's Josie Fosnott. She's running up the kind of the sideline. Now she passed it off. Sydney Tor. Now Anna Pitchin, she kicks it downfield. Good defensive uh, kick, getting up her, uh, to her wingers. Yep, that's going to be a handball. Ref saw that one. So Frontier with a big opportunity here, Alex. Yeah, it would be nice to see it's their second time down this way, but it would be cool to see them be able to get their first shot on goal. Yeah. Here comes the free kick from Anna Petrin. Kyla Ford and the Eagles do a good job of trying to get it out there. It's still in the box. It's up in the air. A header. It's kind of a shot of goal. Frontier trying to challenge. And it's going to go to bounds. It's going to be a goalie kick. East Hampton did a good uh, job to keep the pressure on Frontier to make it so they get the possession of the ball back. And Alec, what we talked about uh, before the game is you kind of, these are both your home teams, you know. <laughs> you went to both these schools. Sadly, that is true. <laughs> Whereas I just went to Frontier, man, so. Uh, anyways, back to soccer. Nice shot on goal. Good save by Katie Wells-Robinson. Oh. Katie, Katie does a good job in goal. Yeah. 
She's done a good job the past couple of years when they needed her to uh, come into goal. And it's good to see her as the, the starting goalkeeper. Yeah, I think it was last year she subbed now and then. Yeah. This year she's actually starting, and she has done uh, a good job. I think it was CC Green last year. Yes, she, she I believe was the, so. She was the starting goalie, and then they would move her, and Wells Robinson would go in goal for Frontier. The Eagles with a chance now. They're trying to move down the field. They still with an opportunity. And that was Magdalene McDermott White who cleared that one for the Hawks. Ooh. Ooh. They're going to say, wow. Yeah. That that looked close. A good tackle by Sydney Torton. But uh, the Eagles, eventually they come away with it. Wells Robinson's going to come out, collect the ball. And she's just going to wait to look who's open. She sees an opening, good strong kick, downfield almost a knuckleball, Alec. Who? <laughs> yeah, it looked like it had no spin on it. Yeah. <laughs> you only see those in baseball and softball. <laughs> and now soccer. Yeah, maybe football too. <laughs> uh, now Frontier, good job by... Number 14 on East Hampton there to stay yep. with her make her uh, run out. Yeah, that was uh, Maria Belfocchi and uh, Magdalene McDermott White who were fighting for the ball there. A nice stand-up tackle by a frontier player to stop that run for East Hampton. Kyla Ford with a long throw in. And good job by uh, Veronica Raposa of clearing that ball there. Oh, Frontier with a chance, an opportunity. And Eagles kick it. Good the job. one clear. thing you have to do, keep your eye on the ball. Yeah. Took her eye off a tiny bit and missed the kick when she went to kick yep. it the first time. Sophia. Ooh. That was so, yeah, that was. Josie Foz now with it. Kicks it back to Hannah Mackin. Um, good run there by Maddie Bennett. Maddie Bennett sticking with it. Uh, Madeline uh, Fagan was there. Now the Eagles on the attack. This is Maria Belfocchi giving up a chance for her team. Good defense. Can't tell who that number is. Um, This is honestly a lot more entertaining than the last boys game we did. Uh, yeah, it's because East Hampton and uh, Frontier are doing a better job defensive-wise. It's more of a spread-out game than bunched together. So the ball is definitely moving a lot easier for them. Yeah. Because they're they're not they're it's equal amount of possession. And another great save by yeah. her. And another long shot by the Eagles trying to get that. And Katie Wills Robinson with another great save. And she's been busy back there early in this game. So Both goalies have. Yeah. Hannah Mackin with it. And Anna Petrin kicks it downfield. Maddie Bennett trying to save it from going out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. Going to be Eagles throwing. It's going to be uh, Christine Raymond <laughs> with a throw-in. Long throw-in to Maria Belfocchi. She makes a good move on the ball. Another nice move. Pass it off. Ooh. Good job by Frontier's defense once again clearing that ball out. And honestly, the way this game is going to be played is the uh, um, the first person who scores is probably most likely oh. going to win. And oh. great job by Ian and Pitching to get that out of the, uh, the box. She, she just made her goalie happy for the rest of the night, I yep. tell you that much. Yep. They could score right now, and the goalie will be happy. Yeah. 
The Eagles could have just scored there. Anna Petrin just saved that from being a goal. And it's always hard to... Those ones are the harder ones to take, too, as a team, is the ugly goals are the worst goals. Cause it, hurts, it hurts the soul more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As they say. Like in uh, professional soccer, you hate to see an own goal. <laughs> Those are the worst, you know. But that was that, that's not the case there. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I will say this is it's going to uh, – what I was trying to say before is it, th this game is going to be won by defense and just one or two simple mistakes. It's all. It's also. I feel like it's gonna come down to the last minute. Yeah. Like uh, a couple of the other games, because we're already been ten minutes in this game. Yep. And it's already been almost equal amount on both sides of the field. Plus, each team are is doing a good job passing plus defense. Yep. And everyone seems to be doing a decent job, so it, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, and it, it already is, and we we've, we've already been uh, ten minutes down, so. Got another 30 in this half. Hannah Mackin doing a good job of c controlling the ball there. And it goes off of Christine Raymond. For, it's Frontier's throwing. Kyla the forward with the throw in here. Nice line drive throw in to Sophie Leone. Still with it, Sophia Leone. Good job sticking with it there. She kicks it into the box. An opportunity header. And it's going to be a goal! <laughs> what a header. I can't. I, 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 oh, wow. Yeah. What a header. That was incredible. Sophia Leone stuck with it there. She kicked it into the box. And that header, boom. One to nothing. Frontier with the lead. So I give all the credit there to Sophie, uh, Sophie Leone. <laughs> uh, so it's one to nothing, and that's gonna that could decide that the that game. was the nicest goal this season that I have seen at a soccer game. That's so the far. nicest game. That's the nicest goal I've ever seen at a high school but, soccer game. Like I have not seen a header goal. No, I, I, and that was like yeah. that was pitch perfect. A beautiful cross right to her, heads it just at the right angle goal downwards. by Jazzy Hayes. And, and Jazzy Hayes go. gets her first goal. Yeah. Frontier will have a throw in. It's I can't get the number, Tom. Just to let you know. Yeah. I feel like they. Uh, the one thing is their jerseys on the front have gotten a lot smaller. No, it, it's funny because it's the further away, the farther side of the field. Yeah. You can't you can't read read them in the yeah. lighting. It's the lighting. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true, and especially uh, like we've talked about is uh, the jerseys. They reflect with the camera. So the Eagles jerseys may be a little more bright tonight. <laughs> nah, they're actually looking better. <laughs> now, so now the Eagles on the attack and on defense there. Nice. She just cool. kicks it out just to make it so they can throw it in. Yeah, good job by Kyle LaFord. Pretty sure that was LaFord uh, that kicked it out of bounds. I'll be the one to let you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I I wasn't paying attention. I looked for the number. <laughs> In the box, good clearance by the Hawks. Ooh. Ooh, now it's the Eagles again. Wow. That was a great opportunity for the Eagles, and that was a kind of a shot on goal by Maria Belfocchi. Uh, she's kind of been the star of the match, trying to make something happen for her team right now. For the Eagles. It's just, again, they're doing what they got to do. They're doing everything right. They just got to get the – they just it's gotta, needs a chance. Yeah. And just like that beautiful header, you know, anything can happen. A cross, you know, that's, that's all you need in soccer sometimes. And I think Eagles right now, they need to spread out a little more. And Frontier, they are playing a little more defensively. 
which is good. And now, as I say that, they're on the attack. And it, that is Maddie Bennett uh, trying to go on the attack there. East uh, Hampton tried to clear it, but by doing it, it be Frontiers throw in number 13. Who is it, Tom? It is Caroline Crocker. I can't believe I actually was able to read that number. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Alec. <laughs> All right, so. Ooh. Good job by uh, Magdalene McDermott-White kicking out of bounds and letting her defense get back set. Set back up, excuse me. Abby McLaughlin. Ooh. Now it's going to be Reagan Delise. Good clearance by the Hawks. Racing to the ball. The, ooh, good chance there. I think that was Sophie Leone. I'm not too sure, though. A thrower. Uh, uh, thrower. <laughs> A throw in for the Eagles. To Ella Belcher time. Hannah Mackin back to one of the defense uh, men on Frontier. And it just goes out of bounds. Eagles ball. So it's going to be Christine Raymond with the throw in. Good throw in to uh, Maria Belfarki. Trying to get to the player. And Frontier, they say no. And. It, and one thing I will say is the Eagles, they need to go more towards the right side. They've been a lot on the left side of the pitch, which is kind of nice because we're closer to them. And I can see the, read the numbers easier. But Frontier with a chance, Sophie Leone. Nice pass. Shot on goal. Ooh, wide left. Great Another great opportunity by the Hawks. And again, with these almost, if that went in, it would have been the uh, Sophie's Sophia Leone, second assist. Uh, so the Eagles are going to have a goalie kick. And it's going to be. <coughs> Sorry about that. Are you good? Uh, Des Redfern. Eagles with the goalie kick. Des, uh, that was Des Redfern. Good job by Sydney Tor trying to get past the midfielders. Ooh. And Frontier with a pass back. With a great pass up to Kyla Ford. And Jazzy Hayes. Now, it's kind of been a back and forth right now just through midfield by both teams. Eagles trying to make space, make something happen. They're going to go upfield. And a good job by Anna Petron. That was a nice boot. Frontier is going to get it across midfield probably again. Hannah Mackin. Good job trying to kick it over to the sideline. And nice defensive play. Good job by uh, Maggie McDermott White. I'm surprised they actually said that it was their ball because it looked like it kind of touched the foot of the other player when they came over for it. But and there, that was. But that's from our angle. <laughs> yeah, that was Maddie Bennett, and it's going to be another throw-in. For the Eagles by uh, Christine Raymond. Raymond with a long throw in. Gets it to Bel tries to get it to Belfarki and goes into Frontier's feet. Header. Maddie Bennett. Oh. And that one's gonna stay in bounds. Good job by McDermott trying to Handball. That's going to be a handball. No. Oh, wow. It looked like it, though. Yep. Eagles on the attack. 
Sydney Torres trying to fight for the ball. Now Veronica Raposa kicks it downfield for the Eagles. Again, they're on the far sideline. Great move by the Hawks. And Eagles trying to get down the sideline. Just goes out of bounds. So... So they're going to put a sub on for Frontier, 11 for 2. So that's Claire McFarland for uh, Magdalene McDermott-White. So Claire McFarland uh, is a defense player, so and she subbed for a defense player. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Still learning as we go, uh Eagles with a big chance too. Shot on goal. Goes right to Wells Robinson. Another great save as it was kicked kind of right to her. She made it look easy. Easy. She's making it look easy. Yeah. She's made every save tonight that's been in her inside her. She zone. almost had one that got by her, but, you know, a nice save by a Frontier player to help her out there. And <laughs> Frontier's looking good so far. Bennett to the floor. Now downfield to Sophie Leone. Jazzy Hayes trying to move down the sideline. Way they use her body to keep her away from the ball. And good job by uh, the so Eagles. I think that's uh, so Tom. Yep. That whole the whole thing right there that was perfect is as soon as the ball went a little too far, the East Hampton player boxed her out. So yep. even if she wanted to get the ball, she couldn't get the ball. And and uh, the other thing was she kicked it out of bounds and forced a corner kick. Yes. And. Look at all, every player on the Eagles are in the box. Oh yeah, they're, they're, after that header, I'm sure that's how it will be most of the night. Yep. And they, at some point, they're gonna have to switch to attacking though. Good job by Sydney Tor kicking, getting that ball and kicking out of bounds. Raymond with another throw in here. She throws it into Abby McLaughlin. And now Mona Young with it. And here comes the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chug -a, chug -a, chug -a, chug -a. <laughs> Kyla the Ford kicks it downfield. Eagles player gets to it, kicks it out of bounds. And that was Veronica Raposa. Number 15 will throw it in for Frontier. Kyla the Ford with the throw in. Looking for somebody to get open. It's going to be Madeline Here. Fagan. Uh, and it's going to be a frontier corner kick. Yep. Yes. And, and again, look, East Hampton, almost all of them are in the box again. What I say, Tom? Yep. The, you're exactly right. You get one header, <laughs> and you know someone knows how to use their head good. <laughs> That's exactly right, yeah. Like, so, uh, Andy Peachin with the yeah. corner kick. Let, let's not say that again. That didn't sound too good on my part. No. <laughs> and now we have Luke entering the, the joining us up here. Would you like to say hello, Mr. Photographer? Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> All right. Back to the game. So, it's going to be uh, Des Redfern for the Eagles with the... Uh, for, uh, goalie kick out of bounds we're going to have a sub for no we're going to have a timeout so timeout on the pitch we're, they're going to take a quick break solely you're watching Frontier Team Access Television hello and welcome back to Frontier Team Access Television uh uh we're back from the timeout from East Hampton. Yeah, and <laughs> honestly, I think that was a good timeout, and I think his, uh, Brian Miller just talked, it, and, and Joe Roy just talked to his, his kids and said, listen, we got to spread out more and not be, we got to open up our attackers and midfielders, give us more space to pass the ball. Yeah, uh, it definitely seems like that was the case, and we'll see if that timeout was a good, good call or... If it makes a difference, sometimes a uh, timeout is good just to ice the other team because the momentum stops in their favor. Yeah. 
So it would be cool to see uh, what ends up happening. And just like you're saying, Frontier, or sorry, the Eagles with a chance. Oh! Great. There was a collision. She, but uh, it was it's good because she's in. She was still in the box. Yeah. So it, it is it is legal. That's gonna be a free kick. Uh, Eagles with a free kick here. And it's going to be Des Redfern uh, on the free kick. They're going to make a two-man wall. It is Anna Petrin and Molly Gates making that wall. Everyone's outside of the box. Now they can go into the box as soon as it was kicked. That kick was by Brenna Myers for the Eagles, and it's going to be a frontier goalie kick. Number seven for East Hampton for number 18 on East Hampton. So you got Kylie Dorman for Brenna Myers. And the one thing I like about the, uh, the girls, it makes it easier for us, is the subs. It's not like three people at once. <laughs> so so far. So far. So far. Don't jinx us yes, Tom. No, I won't. I won't, <laughs> Alec. Knock on wood, man. <laughs> uh, here we go. Molly Gates. And Frontier with the throw in here. I think it's Jazzy Hayes with the throw in. And Eagles, ooh. That's going to be a delayed call, but um, a free kick for the Eagles. And again, it's going to be, I think it's Christine Raymond again. Could be wrong. And the, the one thing that the Eagles need, they look better after that timeout um, at when they first came out. Right now, they're looking a little bunched. Yeah, they just got to spread up again. But again, it's Frontier uh, taking away the passing lanes that's causing it. So Frontier's just doing a good job defensively. Yeah, you're exactly right, Alec. And Frontier, they they scored that one goal early, and that could be the decider. That could be the only goal tonight, it yeah. looks like. I mean, the way both these teams are playing, good cross by Sydney Torr to Molly Gates. Two defenders on her. Beautiful and box out. Yeah. It, but but again, just she just just a tiny bit too much uh kick. Yeah. So it's Frontier current. looks surprised uh that they got the call yeah. for the throw in on this one. So Claire McFarland with the throw in there, and now the Eagles with the chance. Eagles coming in. That was uh That was goal. almost dangerous. Yeah. Oh, Fonky. Never mind. We will move on. McFarland with the header get, trying to beat Bill Fonky. The ball's just been up in the air a lot, back and forth. It's a ping pong match out hey, there. Hey, they're Alec. practicing their headers. Yeah. And I bet that uh, <laughs> that header earlier. Oh, it's practiced. Hey, that was definitely practiced because it, it was pretty perfect. Again, good box out there by the East Hampton player. Good job by Hannah Mackin getting upfield. See, I, I definitely seen this game too. It seems like East Hampton out of other teams has players who actually box out more and try to let other, like a screen basic yeah. pass. And Jazzy Hayes moving down the sideline. What a she, run. Wow, she is moving. <sighs> She's still got good momentum. Yeah. Good defense play too by East Hampton yeah. again. They're, they're both doing a good job. I am not sure who that was, but it, it was one of the midfielders or defenders with a uh, great play to get it out of bounds. Stop Frontier's momentum. Frontier with good. Des Redfern made that clearance there. And now Bofaki. I thought she put enough on it for it to go out at first. Bofaki's going to send it upfield to Ava Ramiro. And good job by Hannah Mackin taking control of the ball. Try to clear. Now, uh, Skylar Steele 
Passing, trying to get it to Molly Gates, and it'll go out of bounds. Front ugh. Eagles throwing. Number 20, Tom. Christine Raymond with the throwing. And she's the main thrower for. Uh, oh, she got a good arm throwing yeah. that. I couldn't do that. <laughs> It'd go 10 feet and then just drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it would, Alec. I'm sure it would. <laughs> Again, here's another big, long throwing. That, that was pretty good, though. Ooh. The Eagles with an opportunity. Abby McLaughlin. Again, Frontier's defense just getting a good job. Trying to clear it. And Sydney Tord finally was able to get it to Molly Gates downfield. Molly Gates just kicks it out of bounds. Good, smart play. We're about nine minutes left in this one for the first half. Raymond to Balfaki again. Out of the backfield, Veronica. And now Ava Ramiro. She's trying to get into the box to Belfaki. Oh, oh. That, was, that was a good good uh, job by the Frontier player stopping because it was so close to the line that even the East Hampton player, she, it looked like she yeah. wanted to hesitate, yeah. but there's no one around. Yeah, and she almost, what she almost did was try to kick it at Frontier's player and get that, force that corner kick, you know. And that's also something you see in basketball is if you're trapped in the corner, you'll throw it off somebody's leg. Yeah, you just try to reset it, basically. Yeah. Get a better look. Yeah. Ooh. Missed kick. Molly good Gates. standing tackle. Great job by Molly Gates. Yeah, she did a good standing tackle. She got it by, uh, kicked it out, and basically gave Frontier uh, another opportunity to like, get the ball back. Throw in by Christine Raymond. Now Abby McLaughlin kicks it out of the backfield. Veronica Raposa with it. Good job. What, honestly, what the Eagles need to do there is they need to send that player up and make sure they're on sides and get it, do a big cross field kick, you know, <laughs> and just make a run. You got, you got to make something happen that maybe, you yeah, know. Yeah, but it's also Frontier's not allowing it to happen by taking the blocking line. They're, yeah. they're taking away the passing lines. Yeah. They're keeping bodies on bodies. Yeah, it's almost like a man on man. That's w that's what I mean. Yeah. And now an opportunity if Balfaki beats McFarland, she she wins the uh, tackle. Ooh, McFarland still Balfaki with it. Still with a chance. The Eagles. Oh, <laughs> that that's another life save. Yep, that's that, that's a bonus extra life in a video game. Yeah, great job, <laughs> great job by uh, McFarland, Claire McFarland. You know, stopping uh, Belfonky, and she stuck with it. She stopped her three or four times there at least. Um, but Belfonky also stuck with it as well. Um, well, you can see confusion there too. Yeah. It's like, you're going to kick it? Are you going to kick it? <laughs> Who's going to kick it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh. We're back, Alec. We're both, we both had great days. <laughs> Alec got a haircut, and I was canoeing on the Connecticut River all day. So, Jazzy Hayes with a throw in. Josie Fosnott back to Hayes. Fosnott trying to get it to Tor. Goes to LaFord. Now Belfarki with a chance. Kicks it upfield. It's on sides. Anna Petrin is just smart decision. That works. Yeah. That, that works. That, that does work. Because it allows, it allows Frontier's defense to get in defensive position. Doesn't allow a breakaway. Yeah. She read that perfectly as she just... Tried to kick it to her uh, her midfielder, but it, it went out of bounds. You know, but it, that's fine. Play goes on. LaFord looking for a, a throw in. LaFord to Skylar Steele. 
And now Anna Petrin again. She's gonna stop, take a look upfield, trying to get it to Molly Gates. Now Molly Gates with a chance. She could, all she has to do is pass it upfield. Great pass. In front of you with a chance, Jazzy Hayes. Ooh. Uh-oh. That was just a great play by the goalkeeper. To you know, you know what's funny? Is that looked identical as East Hamptons versus Frontier, Frontier goalie versus East Hampton player. Yeah. It yeah. looked identical. Yeah. They, well, they both took a good whack. <laughs> yeah. So I would actually you, keep an eye on her. Yeah, I mean, she looked she looked shaken when she got up. Yeah, so and I'm sure uh, she'll get checked out in about a couple minutes as we got 4:30 left in this uh, first half. As Frontier, they're still leading one to nothing off that uh, that header. By Jazzy Hayes, um, Hannah Mackin fighting for the ball. Sydney Tord now makes a pass upfield. Gets it to Skylar Steele. She passes it over to Dazzy Hayes. Hayes making a move. Oh, she's tripped up. That was a push. And they didn't call it. Yeah, no, no call. That is surprising. Yep. So another opportunity by Frontier. And you know, they're doing a great job all of a sudden that they they woken up almost. <laughs> And Wells Robinson kicks it downfield. A couple headers in a row. And now Abby McLaughlin over to the Eagles. Oh, good, good job by, uh, I think that was Andy Peachin again. She's been kind of the, the de defensive player for Frontier so far. I think she's a senior as well. Frontier trying to get down to midfield. Skylar Steele kicks it over to Jazzy Hayes and it's just gonna go out of bounds. So just a reminder, when it gets to two minutes, uh, the clock will stop on the field. Uh, it will be kept clock. on the field. Yeah, it'll kept on the field. Thank you, Alex. That's uh, for if the refs need to add time to make it uh, a closer game. I don't know what, why they do it, but so they they add time for plays like when the ball you know goes off the pitch or and stuff kind of like that. But I don't know. <laughs> we're not in, we're not in England. <laughs> Eagles with a chance here. Belfocchi with a chance. She's been doing a good job for Eagles, keep trying to keep them in this game, or put them back in this game. Uh, Des Redfern. And now, all of a sudden, Frontier, they're on the attack. Jazzy Hames to make the nice move on the ball. And it'd be Frontier throwing. Ooh. Hey, you <laughs> jinked yourself. There's yeah, three I subs. Did. So it'll be two, 21 for 11. 14 for 5, I believe, and 22 for 8. Nope, I got one wrong. It, was, it wasn't 5, it was 16. Okay, so I know Skylar Steele came off. Uh, Molly Gates came off. Sydney uh, Tor came off. And I don't know who came on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, <laughs> we we'll got under, yeah, out. yeah. So we got uh, under two minutes left to play, and Eagles—they're gonna want to try to get a goal and tie this up before the this first half ends. There, with a chance, uh, Belfaki trying to keep it in bounds. She couldn't keep it in, so it would be Frontiers throw in. Hannah Mackin with the throw. They'll have another throw in. Just off uh, one of off of Ava Ramiro. Sophie Leone. Over to Maddie Bennett. Now back to Sophie. Sophie. 
That nice Ooh. move. Ooh. Over to Kyle LaFord. LaFord. Ooh. <laughs> the ref saved that one almost. Yeah. LaFord. Big throw in here. Oh. If she got contact, yeah. that could have been good. All right. So, after the first half action, Frontier leading one to nothing off that beautiful header by Jazzy Hayes from Sophie Leone. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with second half action. You're watching Frontier Connects with Melbourne. Second half action, it's going to be Maddie Bennett for the Red Hawks kicking off. She has Sydney Tor, and I think Skylar Steele, I could be wrong. Has some options. She kicks it back to, to Steele. Or that was... That was Josie Foss, not actually. Now Eagles with a big opportunity. Belfaki with a big shot and a save by Katie Wells Robinson. What another save. Yeah, she's so, been. So far, if, if if we did players of the games, so far she would be one of my top picks out of the yeah. players so far. Yeah. And then it would go her, and then it would go the whole defense. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, Alec. There you go. So. <laughs> they've, they've saved a lot of opportunities. They, they played great defense so far. And again, like we said before the goal was even scored, is this game could come down to that one one goal. All, all it takes sometimes in soccer is one goal. No, it's definitely going to be a one goal game, it looks like. Yeah. If good. anything, it's going to be a two goal. A good pass by Jazzy Hayes. Now Foss not with it. You're, you're hoping for a second uh, goal to give yourself a cushion. Yes. <laughs> Maddie Bennett. Over to, can't tell who that what is. Um, Frontier now. Hannah Mackin over to Fossenot. Now, Maddie Bennett makes a good move on the ball. Ooh. Whoa. A deflection. Almost, almost one in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, that was closer oh. than it really looked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh! Wow! And, yeah, and, and that would have been whoever that went off. That, that would have been that would have been, uh, that would have been a f fun goal. Uh, to oh. explain. Yeah. <laughs> well, Maddie Bennett, she takes control of the ball after the goalie after the goalie kick, and now it's booted way downfield. Belfaki. Nice aggressive play. Yeah, gets it over to Anna Grohuski. Grohuski. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Now, ooh, Des Redfern kicks it downfield. That Anna, ball was Anna with a chance and good clearance by Anna Petrin. So in on Anna matchup. Throw in by Ella Belcher time. Ooh, she tried to get to that ball. Yeah, she mi miss kicked it. And now Veronica Raposa. Now it's Abby McLaughlin. She takes a shot on goal. It's good! Wow, oh what my a gosh. long shot. What a goal. That was that was a long shot. That was like, twenty what? That was that was like right outside the the goalie's the box. box. Yeah, that they they've been trying to get that all game and look at that now, Alec. Yeah, it is you, one to one. You know, it's a very good game. Yeah. And Molly Gates comes on for Maddie Bennett. Josie Foss not with it. Eagles already on the attack again, or trying to. Foss not makes a nice move on the ball. She's passed it, it to, it's going to go to the Eagles now. Uh, Reagan Delise. Now Anna Krokowski, nice move. Pass it back to her defensive player. Foss not over to. 
goal Hayes. scored by Abby McLaughlin. And just collected by Addy Barr, the goalkeeper for the Eagles. Sydney Tour. So now it's a whole new soccer game. It's basically, it's like zero to zero, but it's one to one. Uh oh, a oh, missed move oh. on the ball. Ooh, and good, good save. Yeah, good job by Wells Robinson reading that and collecting. As well, well, that's one. That's one where it's hard to read too because you don't know what you should hit. You don't know if you should stay, if you should go, or if you should drop and try to uh, grab the ball either. Yeah, and Wells Robinson, she's a very experienced goalkeeper. Um, and now Frontier on the attack. All of a sudden, a kind of a fake kick across. Oh. So if if that was a little more to the left or a little earlier, I think it, it could have been another chance. That was a good chance. Even it was a good opportunity that they even put themselves in there. So. Yep. Ah. The um, Red Hawks putting some pressure on now, <coughs> but the it's the Eagles' defense in this second half action. Yeah, it's it's the the East Hampton goal uh, definitely gave uh, East Hampton new life. Yeah. New it, energy. Yeah. Because they're playing completely like a brand new game. You're exactly right, Alec. And now all of a sudden, well, Anna Petrin, she's going to take a look. She good move. Kicks nice it, clear. Yeah, and it just goes out of bounds. So great job by Annie Petrin. As you know, she's she's done a great job um, defensively for the Red Hawks, and throwing in for the Eagles it was uh, Brenna Myers. Tor over to Jazzy Hayes. Good try. Good try. Another throw-in by uh, Myers. Yeah, and I think that, you know, that break in the action made uh, the Eagles more alive all of a sudden in the second half action, and, and especially with that, that goal. Well, the, de the goal definitely amped them up. And amp them up. You can see a body language difference. They're playing harder to the ball, and they're trying a lot harder now because it's a closer game. Yeah, and Anna uh was, trying to, was fighting uh, Celia Yazwinski. Uh, for the ball there. Oh, they both did a good job. Petrin with a long throw in to Fosna. It falls in the Eagles' hand. Oh. And good job by Petrin. She's letting it go out. They're lucky on there because uh, she just didn't get enough foot on that one. That one was a good shot on goal, too. Yeah. If she got better contact. And the one thing I like about uh, high school sports is you even just watching the JV players. You know, like, next couple of years, they're going to move up and be on varsity. What I like is seeing the difference between improvement-wise. I like to see where they where they start from the first year that they play from until the last year till they play. Yeah, and the one thing that's always good is if you're really good at a sport and you try a lot and put a lot of time and effort into it, you can play in college. Like D, you got a lot of options now with uh, – D3, D1 schools, D2. Anyways, back to the game. Bill <laughs> Farkey, she's throwing to Abby McLaughlin, who had that goal for the Eagles, which tied it up. And now all of a sudden, good. it's in the box. Good job <laughs> by Wells Robinson. Another good, great save as they tried to tr uh, chip the goalie. Yeah, it looked like a uh, volleyball shot basically because <laughs> it looked like the, she wanted to go and set it yeah. so when she got Hayes it. Hayes with a back roll to Tor and it's going to keep in bounds. Eagles still they're playing very aggressive all of a sudden now. Like in Frontier they just you know what they have to do is play even more aggressive. Sometimes that works. <coughs> Any sport. Great job by can't can't tell who that is, but great job, like controlling the ball there, or trying to. Yeah, I see. Uh, the, uh, there's Ooh. been some good, very good. good ball control. Yep, an opportunity just wide. Yep. And so there's three again. 
11, 13, and 16. And who's coming off? That would be 10, 20, and 2. Okay. So I will get to those. Momentarily? Yes, <laughs> momentarily. Goal kick for Frontier. Out of bounds. <laughs> so it would be a throw in East Hampton. Okay. So who came off was Jillian Warden, uh, Celia Yaswinski, and Magdalene McDermott White. Coming on was Claire McFarland, uh, Caroline Crocker, and Skyler Steele. Thank you, Alec. You're welcome. So back to the game and the action. We've played about 10 minutes. And it's all tied up, one to one. So I'm curious because we haven't had a situation this year yet, you and me, where what happens after the time runs out. I think it just ends in a tie in regular season play, uh, and then in the the postseason they go to extra time, and then a shootout. Well, the uh, I hope we get the chance to sit, find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I honestly, the way this game's being played right now, I it could end up in both teams' hands. All it takes is just an opportunity. And the Eagles have really woken up in the second half. Right after that goal. Yep. And they're passing the ball a lot better. And Frontier now on the attack all of a sudden. Oh. Great move by, I think it's Sophie Leone. Or... It was Jazzy Hayes, one of the two. And kicked out of bounds. Good defensive play by the Eagles. Yeah, good uh, job clearing it. Now uh, the throw-in for the Red Hawks. As the night goes on, it's, it's easier to see the numbers because of the, the lights are brighter. And it's darker out. Anyways. <laughs> you say so, Tom. <laughs> yeah, if I say so. <laughs> I just think that the new jerseys made their numbers a lot smaller. Sydney Tor over to Josie Fosnod. Fosnod over to the sideline. One of the wingers kissing in the box. Molly Gates. Cool. And it goes to Addy Barr, the goalkeeper for the Eagles. Waste some time, get let her teammates catch a breath and get open. Good header by Frontier. And I think that's Belfarki. She makes a nice move on the ball. Kind of pass up the field to Anna Krohuski. I think it's that. Uh, <laughs> Still on the, Anna. Trying to, a nice aggressive move, go, trying to go on the sideline, fighting what a Caroline Crocker, and still going. Nice play, both ends of the field. East Hampton did a good job to get their offensive opportunity to try and get a shot on goal. De uh, Frontier did a good job defensively to stop it. Yeah, Crocker and uh, Anna uh, for the Eagles, they... they did a great job there. You're exactly right. So Ava Ramiro. Oh, now all of a sudden the uh, the front Red Hawks moving down the sideline. And Claire McFarland does a good job boxing out uh, Belfarki, and it's going McFarland's going to throw it in. Good job by McFarlane again. Ooh, nice move by Belfonke. And now it's going to go to Caroline Crocker. She Nice move. She kicks it downfield over to Skyler Steele. And a handball. So th this is what the Eagles are looking for, Th Alex. Yes, this, this is what East Hampton is looking for. They're looking for Frontier to give them that opportunity. And with that handball... East Hampton's had a, another opportunity offensively. And this is this is a huge play right here for the Eagles. 
at, at this point, it's those those free kicks are going to help a lot. Des Redfern tried to kick it in there. Went to the uh, Red Hawks midfielders. Molly Gates, good job kicking it downfield. The goalkeeper's way out of the box. She's just got to kick it away <laughs> and now get back. Frontier needs to take advantage of it right now as she's still getting back in the box. Skylar Steele over to Sydney Tor. Now over to, to LaFord. Now downfield, <coughs> Belfocchi all of a sudden. The Eagles on the attack. Belfocchi still moving down the field. She's going to take going. a shot on goal and <laughs> saved by Katie Wells Robinson. All of a sudden now, like this is this is getting fun. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. We're wrapping up time-wise. It's about 25 minutes left, so... It, as soon as we get around 10 minutes, I see it being one of the most aggressive games, maybe, that we have seen. Yeah. I would be interested. I'm already seeing subs on the sideline. Yeah, it's going to be Sub. Maddie Bennett and uh So it Jazzy looks like Frontier Hayes. is definitely preparing. Yeah, Maddie Bennett and Jizzy Hayes are going to getting ready to get back on the pitch. Good job by Sophie Leone. And a kick downfield. Going to go to Aina Petrin. Eagles capitalize. Now it's a run race between Claire McFarland and Belfarki. And good it's job by McFarland getting out of bounds. Yes, exactly. Get oh, It gives her <laughs> team a time to set again. Yeah. And def defense just needs to be Frontier's plan right now. And it's going to be a throw in for the Eagles. She throws it to one of her defensive players. Nice move on the ball. Fosnott's there to capitalize and kicks it out of bounds. I believe that was actually a midfielder Tom. And uh, they're going to stop it for subs. Yep. Maddie again, Maddie Bennett and Jazzy Hayes coming on the field. Molly Gates and Sydney Tour coming off. And about 24 minutes left to play in the second half action as it's just getting exciting here in South Deerfield. A throw in for the Hawks. Not sure who's throwing it in. Goes to Maddie Bennett. Tries to get to Hayes and Eagles. Nope. Good defense by the Hawks. And that was Hannah Mackin. Kicked it out of bounds there. And one thing Frontier did is, I, I don't know if they were in a 2-4-4 uh, formation before, but they're definitely in one now. Two striker, yeah. You, you know, you, you confused me, so oh, you, you know more than I do, because yeah. that, that to me right there was, uh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I learned something. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like for the Eagles, Mo, uh, Mona Young... Yeah, Mona Young comes off. I'm not sure who came on. We'll Veronica. Oh, Frontier. All, uh, you know, both teams looking very alive in the second half, Alec, and it's it's getting exciting. It's de definitely late, late two in the second half. They still look like everyone has a good amount of energy, even though yeah. Frontier did do uh, s did sub two people on, but you know, the the adrenaline rush. For both teams, it's like, I want to score that goal, and who's going to want it more is really what's going to happen. Oh, that that's definitely will be how it, it will be. And I, th I think it will come down to there will be a goal probably, or there won't be. Uh, you never know. My guess is it will come in the last couple minutes, in the last 10 minutes or so. I always like the games where it's who wants it most. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what it is right now. 1-1, one, one and... It's just back and forth right now. Caroline Crocker over to Skylar Steele. Nice move, trying to get through the defender. Skylar Steele still with it. Good job of sticking with it for her. And Veronica Raposa, good job clearing it. So now Frontier has the offensive opportunity to get a shot on goal. Yeah. So now it's all, all we got to see is if East Hampton can now stop Frontier. Yeah. Good thrown by 
Claire McFarlane. Oh, nice shot on goal. Goes wide right. And again, they they had their opportunity. So now it's now it's East Hampton's turn. You know, they get a they get a chance, and they'll be taking a sub, and it will be seven for eighteen. So Kylie Dorman for Brandon Myers. Good job for both of them, and we got a shoe tie for the Eagles. There we go. Um, I think it's Des Redfern kicking the goalie kick for the Eagles. I think it's Jazzy Hayes with it. She's going to pass it upfield. Nice pass. To, tried to get it to uh, Sophie Leone. Claire McFarland trying to make a pass pass. Good job by Anna Petring again. Stayed in bounds that time. Petrin going to let her goalkeeper collect. And Wells Robinson, again, both goalies, you got to be give kudos to both. They played well, very well. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this game ends in a tie out. I wouldn't be either the way that it's going. Um, both teams have been very aggressive late in the half. They're both playing very well defensively. Crocker with the throw in. Uh, so they'll have another throw in, this time clo a little closer to the goal. And here, here's Frontier's chance again. They're in the offensive opportunity area. Yeah, th they're at, at about the 20 yard line, Alec, one would say. <laughs> right? Ooh, a little trip up there. Jazzy Hayes can take control of the ball. She kicks it to Claire McFarland on the sideline. She's going to have to make a run for it. McFarland back to the forward. Ooh. Now McFarland. McFarland. And I think it's going to stay in bounds. And this time it will be a Frontier throwing. So Frontier has been able to keep it on this side too, and that's helpful for them. And see in East Hampton less opportunities with the clock still ticking. Yeah. And again. And now we're under 20 minutes. We have about... 18.50 left to play with some extra time. Ooh, and a Frontier throw-in right next to the corner. Um, McFarland versus uh, Maria Bilfaki has, has been somewhat of a matchup over there on the uh, opposite side of the field for us. Um, Oh, and now Bofaki with a chance. She's going to try to get it to Anna Grokowski. She's going to stick with it. Carolina Crocker. And goes out of bounds. Good job by Caroline Crocker. Long throw in. Great job by Kylie Dorman to get that. And there she is again. Josie Fosnott takes control of the ball. She's dribbling around a little behind midfield for the Hawks. Pass the <laughs> forward back to Fosnott now. Fosnott over to Jazzy Hayes. She's making some nice fancy footwork. She gets it over, trying to get it over to the forward. The forward now and over to the midfield. And goes out of bounds. Frontier throwing. It was nice so I could catch my bre breath, Alec. <laughs> Josie Fosnott. Nice pass to Skylar Steele. She gets by one defender. Oh, back to Fosnott now. Fosnott crosses it. Had her off of uh, East Hampton defender. Ooh, and another collision. Good sportsmanship there. Yeah, helped, helped her up off the field. Yeah. And that, that's one thing I do like to see is, especially in high school sports, it doesn't matter who's winning or losing or if it's tied. You always want to uh, see good sportsmanship. Exactly. LaFord trying to get it to McFarland, who is on the run. Back to LaFord. She kicks it upfield. Now, now Maddie Bennett with it. Over to Sophie Leone. She trips up a little bit. They're in the box, too. That was a good opportunity. Yep. Let's see what happens. And now the Eagles. Oh, good job by 
I think it was Hannah Mackin. I thought they and were going to have a break. Anna, Anna Petrin, she cases it way downfield, trying to get it to steal, and just goes off of Steele's foot. Um, good play by the Eagles. It's a good play by uh, Frontier, too, though, because uh, she keeps it down in the offensive zone for her team. And the throw in here by Kylie Dorman. Ooh, kind of a missed throw. Steele takes advantage of it. She adds it. Nice move. Cut. Ooh, nice spin move. Kicks it in the box. Oh! oh. That was still a Still with the chance. LaForge. And just high. Oh. <laughs> I was, if, if Sophia if Leone, or Sophie that, Leone. That would contact. be the, that's definitely the closest. Sorry for interrupting, but that's definitely the closest opportunity that they will probably have to uh, yeah. be taking the game. And I think it, Tyler Steele came off. Um, <coughs> I think it was just Steele. I'm not too positive who came on the field, but we will find that out when we can. I'm also surprised that throw-in wasn't so good because she's been uh, throwing it pretty uh, decent. Yeah. <laughs> and another throw-in. Caroline Crocker, two back-to-back -back throw ins She's going to look for the open woman. And... Sydney Tour over to, I think, Jazzy Hayes. Good move by Sophie Leone. She takes a shot on goal. It's good! <laughs> oh, what a goal. So Sophie Leone with an assist with that header and that amazing goal right there. Frontier now leading 2-1. to one. What a goal. See, uh, again, they just stuck with it. They, they want it. They want it. And both team wants it. And Frontier got a good chance, good shot. And guess what? It worked out. Yeah. Now it's 2-1. Now it's a brand new game again. But yeah. this time it's Frontier leading again. So Frontier, they have not been losing in, the, uh, in this entire game. They haven't let up on the lead. Nope, they haven't. They have only been tied <laughs> and winning. Yeah. So Frontier, the Eagles, they're going to have to play really aggressive. And right now Frontier... They're going to use that momentum of that goal and try to get another one. The Eagles on the attack. McFarland takes control of the ball. Gets it over to Sydney Torr now. And the Eagles on the attack. Anna over to Belfonke. And it goes out of bounds. A throw in for East Hampton. And this could be a big throw in. <laughs> and Anna Petrin make with another great clear. I definitely, Alec, in this game, right? I would give Sophie Leone the man of the match. If you know what Goal that means. Yeah, it's Sophie the player of the game. Leone. Yeah. You got you got the man of the match, and then it's like ho hockey does the top three stars. So basically, they do the top three players. Um, Sorry, so Maddie Fagan scored the goal. And I believe soccer does a uh, man of the match plus what something else too. I think. Oh, so a correction. It was Maddie Fagan that scored the goal for the Red Hawks. Again, it's hard for us to see from here. Is my bad. <laughs> I will. All right, Eagles trying to make moves is Anna Grogowski who has a goal. Now, one-on-one -on -one is Belfocchi. She could she could tie this up again. Oh, what a Ooh. defensive stop by Frontier. McFarland with another great stop, yeah. Jeez, uh, she was I, moving down that pitch pretty well. It's going to be another timeout by East Hampton, it looks like, yeah. for Tom. This game so far has been a good one. Yeah, I've for really, both sides. I think this is one of the the games that I've really mostly enjoyed for soccer, and I mostly enjoyed it because it's it's a fast pace. It hasn't been slow. They've been spreading the field. They've been passing well. Each team has been playing like they want the game, and yeah. neither team has given up. Yeah, and and honestly, Alec, you're exactly right. 
the the Red Hawks and the Eagles are still in either one. It could be a toss up. If I will say this though, if the Eagles score go out there and score a goal, the coach is going to drop some plays, give his players some water, and some frontier. Um, I, th- if I think they score a goal. It's it, it's going to. I high. also think that the timeout that's call, called now is to stop Frontier's momentum yes. from the goal. Yes. It's it's basically the try to slow them down. It's it's like in uh, almost like American football where they call a timeout right before he's about to kick and yep. you ice the kicker and yep. then he miss he makes on there and then he has to kick it again and he misses. That was the Bears. Uh, anyways, they were gonna take a quick break, so we'll be watching Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Alec Echo, the duo plus Lou. <laughs> we'll give him credit. We'll give him credit, but he did leave. That's all right. He was here. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> all right. All right. Where's the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, it's over there, it's around midfield. Uh, and the Eagles, Eagles throwing. <gasps> Definitely, the uh, Brian Miller definitely drew up a play for his players right now, and trying to tell his players you're still in this. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what was taking so long. <laughs> she sat there for like a good two minutes yeah. waiting. We, when are you gonna? Oh, here we go! This is exactly what they. Oh, exactly what the Eagles wanted. If she gets that ball, that, that could be a goal. That was a beautiful setup. And let's see, let's see if East Hampton gets some sleep in because yeah. uh, Frontier didn't look like they were ready before the throw-in. And Anna Ooh. Grogowski. Eagles doing a good job of getting keeping it on Frontier's position. Good block by Yeah, good Anna deflection Mackin. by uh, Frontier there. It went off Anna Mackin and... I believe that makes it a goal, no, a corner. Yep. So it's going to be a corner kick and you, this, this You know what big. sucks too? How far she had to just run for yeah. that corner? Because that's taken off a lot of time. And she's gonna have to run back as well because she's a def- defensive woman. So it's kind of interesting seeing a defensive player take the corner. Well, it's gonna be Des Redfern for the Eagles. Kicks it into the box. Oh, oh. there another shot. Oh, and she's down. Oh no, this so is not good for yeah, the Red we'll, Hawks. Yeah, we'll we'll be uh, back after yeah. this. We'll take a quick break. You're watching Front Street and Access Double. We'll be right back. Good to see that she's all good. Yeah, I'm glad she the 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 referee took time to check make sure she was all right because she was holding her neck. Belfaki with a chance. Now it is Abby McLaughlin oh. who had the goal. It's in the box. Great defense by Anna Peach and getting out of there. Cindy Tor. Now it is Kylie Darman. It's still in the air. It's a ping pong match. <laughs> Veronica Raposa into the box. Katie Wills Robinson comes out, collects. Good job by Katie. You know, I give her pops too uh, for staying in after. Yeah, that even takes guts. even even taking a hit like that, especially when you hurt 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 to the point where it looked like you're, she wasn't moving. Yep. It it's scary to when you see the player like that not moving. Yeah. And it just good to see that she's okay. Yep. Kyla Ford moving down the sideline. Takes a shot on goal and the and Addy Barr, the goalkeeper for the Eagles, collects. I, I see Frontier doing a little bit more of that, is taking a little bit quicker of shots on goal yeah, from a little bit further it, away because they're up. Yeah, and waste, wasting that clock out. You're exactly right. Belfaki trying to get back past McFarlane and it just goes out of bounds. Yeah, she just ha- uh, couldn't control the ball enough to keep it in. McFarland looking for someone's open. Gets it to Hayes. Hayes takes control over to Sydney Tor now. Tor back to McFarland. Pass it upfield. And Veronica Raposa takes control. A good job by Reagan Delise. Now the Hawks. Sophie Leone. Pass up to LaFord. LaFord. Senior for Frontier crosses it in the box. Great job by Addy Barr. Yeah, another good opportunity though on the cross for Frontier. Just uh, the East it's Hampton goalie just got there and quicker than the offense. Yeah, and Addy Barr keeping keeping them in this game. If Frontier scores, it's lights out for the for the Eagles, most likely. But you never know. Um, the Eagles they need this goal right here as 
Anna Gorkowski takes a shot. Oh, good job by Wells Robinson to stop that. I'd rather it hit the pole and uh, go out than in. <laughs> yeah, Wells Robinson kicks downfield. Goes past everyone. Yeah, they got all got confused on that one. Des uh, Redfern gets it way upfield. You're gonna see a lot more of those passes because that's right. what that's what the Eagles have to do. Oh yeah, they're they definitely gonna have to pa do longer passes now that with less time on the clock. Tor with a long throw and goes past everyone once again. Ver Veronica Raposa, good pass, a chance for the Eagles takes a shot. Saved nice by save by Robinson. She has had the game so far. Yeah. She's it's definitely been a good game for her and a good game for Frontier. Yeah. And good job by Des Redfern getting out of there. Good job by McFarland. Oh, and it's, it's going to be a... <laughs> Throw in here by the Eagles. And that was Kylie Dorman. Kylie Dorman with it. Hayes makes a nice Ooh. spin move and gets kicked out of bounds. She tried some fancy footwork. McFarlane tried to get in. And I will say this is it's it's getting a little sloppy out there, Alex. But but to be fair, we're in the seventy fifth minute almost. Yeah. You're definitely going to see them probably start to slow down a little, but it's also to the point where you... <laughs> Belfocchi with a great chance and just wide right. She needed... That almost, that could have been a goal. Yeah, and, and she, she almost needed another step and then a shot, but... But again, I, right again, it's who wants it more still. Yeah. And so far, it's Frontier. Yeah. Even though East Hampton does show that they want it, and they want it bad. Yeah, they really do. They're not giving up. Some teams at this point would say, "All right, we'll take you know, we'll we'll pack up and we'll go home." Eagles are not doing that. But Frontier's also saying, "We're gonna make you work." Yeah. If you want it. Matt, so. Maddie Bennett dribbling, pass up to Tor, and I think it's LaFord. Gets it up to Hayes, I think, or Leone, excuse me. Leone, nice move. Gets by one defender. Crosses it, and... Nice, though. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Nice footwork. Nice ball movement. Nice passing. And, and again, Alec, Frontier, they've played great. Both teams have this game, but Frontier is winning 2-1 to one with that late goal by uh, Matty... Uh, Fagan. With only about five minutes about left still. Yeah. So something's got to happen quick for the Eagles if they want to tie this one up. And also try to make it to see if they, what they do. Because <laughs> we don't know, Tom. You also, and me? <laughs> and the, the inside joke is uh, the Eagles, you know, I called Belchertown the Eagles for half a game and no one told me. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you uh, haven't done that yet. No. The, the, these guys are the Eagles <laughs> versus the Red Hawks. So. I think that's the, the, the funniest thing, though, is the Frontier Red Hawks, East Hampton Eagles. Yeah. It's like I never understood how it's the, the schools are so close, but the mascots are kind of almost identical. They're just a yeah. different bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny how most most teams name their, uh, their, like, their mascot off of a bird for high schools. Oh, nice move. Trips up. That was uh, Abby McLaughlin. Yeah, I, I think they're going to give it to uh, East Hampton there. Yep. Oh, no. No. You are wrong, Alec. I am. <laughs> That's the first tonight, I think. And a Petrin, she's going to take a goalie kick for the Hawks. What a kick. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do that if I tried. Sometimes you got to go backwards, go forward. In this case, the Red Hawks capitalize. Oh. Never mind. The that that could have been good. Yep. The Eagles still fighting for it as we just have about three minutes and 15 seconds left. I think it was Petron again. Kick downfield. Thrown by the Eagles. Their time is dwindling, Alex, so they got to make something snappy. 
make something happen. Ugh, happen, Snappy. They're not giving up. Anna Grouski. Belfaki. Oh. oh. East Hampton had that opportunity. Still have an opportunity. Yes. Oh, oh they're going to give it to East Hampton, though. I, I think he shouldn't so have called that almost. I, I think by him calling it, it just. Oh, it went out of bounds. Ella, Ella Belcher time with the chance there, though. And good job by Petron again getting a. Or that was Hannah Mackin, excuse me. Sorry if I'm messing up the names. Uh, nice move there. I think that's Hayes or Leone. And it goes out of bounds. And the clock will now be on the field, Tom. Yes. So we're, we're at the final push. Yeah, Who fine. really wants it now? It's yeah. the question. Again, Frontier winning 2-1 to one with that, that goal earlier in this half to take the lead. Under two minutes left to play, and Eagles got him. Got to get it out of that corner. They got to get it out of their their offensive area. You right now, this is what they need. They need to boot it as far down as she can right now. She did. This could be their chance, Alec. This is the chance. Belfaki versus McFarland again. Belfaki got to make a move. She could take a shot or pass. She passes. Good shot on goal! Oh, oh just high! <laughs> wow! That was that that was the shot, yep. and that's probably it right there. That was definitely the shot. <laughs> so Wells Robinson, all she really needs to do now is boot it way downfield. Or nope, it's gonna be Anna Petrin. Kuka, ugh. boot it way down the field here and just waste that time. That's all Frontier needs to do now. Josie Fosnott gets it over to Leone. Or hey, throwing this. This could be the last chance, Alec. They gotta win this right here. Gets it into the box. Belfaki's gotta get back and get it. She gotta pass it midfield. Yep. Good, they, they, good offense, yeah. defensive by fr uh, Frontier. They're keeping it alive. Yeah. That could be the game right there. They, right there. Yep, yep. Sydney Torres just boot it downfield. Get it to your player. And now uh, Des Redfern. I'm glad there's a little extra time. I mean, I don't yeah, know I how think, much time Yeah, I think left. they gave a little extra time because of injury because she did, did uh, stay yeah. down for a little. Ooh, and they didn't nice call time. move. Now on the attack still. Eagles not giving up just yet. Jazzy Hayes, oh, this is Abby McLaughlin takes a shot. wide shot on goal and wide left. They need a ball. Yeah, <laughs> now now this could be it. No, nah, I think they won't they won't whistle it that quick. No, no, but they, but but, but like keeping it. Yeah, but but um, you gotta think time is dwindling. So. You, you never know, you know, yeah. this kick here. She could kick it right to someone that they don't want to kick it to. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> there you go, Alec. That is the game. What a game, too. Frontier. They're going to move to 7-4-2 and two on the season. The East Hampton Eagles come into the Hawks' house and... Played, played hard. Yeah, they played, played very hard. Th this was my favorite soccer game that I've commentated so far. Oh, definitely. It's the, the atmosphere to this one was explosive from the beginning. They didn't stop. Each team played with their uh, hearts throughout the whole game. Yeah, they did an amazing job. The sportsmanship was amazing, and each team did amazing. Yeah, and I'm just gonna quickly recap. It was Jazzy Hayes in the first half. She had a goal around the 27 minute mark, and uh, it was off that header that uh, uh, that nice head header. Yeah, yeah, nice assist by Sophie Leone, and that was perfect. And then that second, the second goal in the game was at 16 uh, minutes, and around 16 minute mark left. Uh, it was scored, I'm pretty sure, by... I think for a second, Abby McLaughlin. And the winner 
was scored by Matty Fagan on Frontier. So again, final score for the final time, seven, or er, two to one. You're, you watch Frontier, can access television.